from overloaded trucks making tight turns that will make any expert driver squirm to trains filled with so many passengers you have to hang over the sides to get to your destination. These physics-defying tales will have you on the edge of your seat, hoping everyone makes it home safely. Here are 20 dangerously overloaded vehicles caught on camera. Overloaded Passenger Vessel The churning waters of the Mengna were in ominous gray, matching the overcast sky above. Despite the choppy currents, a large passenger vessel forged ahead, packed to the brim with passengers. The ship was blindingly white against the dreary backdrop, its four tiers crammed with people shoulder to shoulder. So crowded was the deck that many passengers stood precariously perched at the edges, barely containing their balance as the ship rocked unsteadily. It was clear the ship was dangerously overloaded. The vessel was only built to hold a fraction of the bodies crammed aboard, most standing as all the seats were already occupied. The captain seemed unconcerned, focused only on reaching the distant shore as quickly as possible. The passengers were solemn and silent, avoiding eye contact as they endured the uncomfortable close quarters. Near the back of the ship, a mother clutched her young child tightly as she scanned the waters around them with worry. Despite the crew's reassurances, she could not ignore the fact that they were overloaded. If any trouble arose, there were simply too many people and not enough life jackets or rafts to go around. She gazed nervously at the dark waters that churned only feet below, hoping and praying their passage would remain smooth and uneventful. For if any misfortune fell upon them in those crowded chaotic waters, their fates would be as bleak as the ominous clouds above. Heavy Loaded Truck The sun beat down on the rural Indian hillside as a medium-sized truck slowly rumbled up the dusty dirt road. Under the dirty white tarp, the cargo was stacked high, well beyond the edge of the driver's cab. Wisps of hay poked out from small tears in the faded fabric, hinting at the truck's heavy load. As the road curved sharply to the left, ascending 170 degrees up the forested hill, the driver downshifted with a loud grind of gears. The truck's engine roared, but its speed slowed to a crawl as the steep incline and tight curve proved too much for the overloaded vehicle. With the truck struggling to make the climb, two helpers quickly jumped from the cab, ready to guide the driver up the treacherous turn. The helpers ran along with the truck and waved their arms, signaling the driver on how to navigate the tricky curve. With focused concentration, they guided the lumbering truck, its overburdened chassis sagging under the 30 tons of cargo. The helpers yelled encouragement to the driver, who deftly worked the steering wheel and pedals according to their cues. After what seemed an eternity, the truck finally reached the top of the hill. There was no time for celebration. As soon as the truck finished the climb, they immediately chased after it, quickly disappearing from view as they followed the vehicle up the rural road. Stuck Under Flyover The roads of Uttar Pradesh see all kinds of vehicles, from tiny three-wheeled autos to lumbering trucks weighed down with produce. One such truck, painted white and red, was piled high with freshly cut sugarcane. The sweet stalks towered over the cab, leaves rustling in the breeze. The driver had stacked his cargo with little thought to roadway clearances. Sugarcane spilled over the truck's bedsides, a teetering tower of green. As the truck rumbled down the road, approaching a low overpass, the cane shifted slightly. Oblivious, the driver motored on. Up ahead, the bridge loomed and the truck did not fit. With a horrible scraping sound, the top layer of cane wedged against the concrete underside of the overpass. The truck slammed to a halt, its front wheels lifting clear off the road as the weight of the cargo tilted the whole vehicle upward. The truck teetered at a 20-degree angle, its front grille now pointing toward the sky. The driver threw his door open in astonishment, gazing upwards at where his cargo pinned him in place. He yelled and gestured to no effect. Nearby motorists slowed to gawk at the strange sight, yet the transport authorities did not intervene and the driver was left to resolve matters himself. After an hour of fruitless maneuvers, he enlisted aid from a passing tractor to tug his cargo free. Truck Fall Down The sweltering desert sun soared over the sand-colored terrain as the overloaded truck rumbled a few feet down the sandy terrain. Its bulky frame swayed precariously with each bump and dip in the path. 18 wheels struggling under the immense weight. The driver, focused solely on reaching his destination, failed to notice the trailer teetering ever closer to the tipping point. Without warning, the top-heavy vehicle tipped over to the left, 
as this sudden shift in balance proved too much. With a metallic groan, the towering truck slammed onto its side in a cloud of sand. The tarp covering the cargo ripped free on impact, revealing dozens of white bags. Their contents were obscured, but they resembled sandbags in size and shape. A man dressed in all white sprinted over to offer assistance. The driver, protected in the cab, emerged unscathed through the undamaged door. As he surveyed the overturned rig in dismay, but one look at the disastrous scene showed the truck would not be moving again anytime soon. With its front wheels up, the winding rural road stretched ahead, flanked by lush sugarcane fields that waved gently in the breeze. A lone tractor rumbled down the path, piled impossibly high with harvest. The towering load, wrapped in green tarp, obscured the driver's view almost entirely. Only the very top of his white cap poked above the teetering cargo. The old tractor groaned under the weight as it crawled along. With each small incline in the road, its front wheels drifted upward, struggling for traction. The overburdened vehicle pressed on at a snail's pace. Turning a bend, the tractor's front wheels suddenly lifted fully off the ground. Yet somehow, incredibly, it continued on course, now with only its rear wheels touching the pavement. The stunned driver clung tightly to the steering wheel, guiding his improbable cargo down the country road. Clearly, overloading transport beyond reason was extremely risky, but people admired the determination and creative problem-solving on display. For many, it exemplified the boundless innovative spirit of the Indian people. Small tractor, heavy load. The punishing midday sun beat down on the back of Old Reliable, a veteran Macy Ferguson 240 tractor. Though she stood only 50 horsepower strong, the scrappy machine was no lightweight. Hitched to her sturdy frame was a trolley piled impossibly high with harvested sugarcane. Stalk after stalk, the towering peak swayed precariously with each rut and rock in the rugged field. The tractor's driver, a seasoned farmer, surveyed the ambitious load with pride. He knew his trusty companion was up for the job. With a deep breath, he shifted the tractor into gear. Her engine roared to life, spewing black smoke into the sweltering air. Ever so steadily, the wheels began to turn as the duo lumbered forward. Step by step, they made their way across the rough terrain. The tractor's mighty tires churned up dirt as she pulled with all her might. The overloaded trolley lurched and teetered behind her, but she pressed on undeterred. She had handled far worse in her day. Though she was small, this scrappy tractor was only one tough machine, a true workhorse through and through. With her stalwart strength, she would deliver her harvest safely home. Insanely packed trains. The train station in Dhaka, Bangladesh was a sea of people as thousands crammed together awaiting transport home after a long day's work. Men, women, and children jostled and squeezed as they fought to board the overloaded trains departing the city. With no empty seats available, hordes scrambled up the sides of the carriages, using any handhold they could find to cling precariously as the trains reached speeds of 27 miles per hour. Groups heaved and hoisted their comrades onto the roof some 12 feet overhead, where nearly 2,000 people balanced in a carpet of bodies, blanketing every inch of available space. During rush hour, scenes at the station were sheer chaos, but festival days and holidays strained the system to its breaking point with holiday travelers joining the throngs of daily commuters. A local documentarian captured the intensity firsthand, spending an entire day photographing the rush hour mayhem. As evening approached, he joined the masses on the roof for a hair-raising ride, snapping photos while gripping the edge to avoid tumbling off. For these commuters crammed into steel carriages like sardines, the train was a lifeline transporting them from the capital's crowded maze to the comfort of home and family. On risky got downturns, the winding mountain roads beckoned the daring driver. With a fully loaded truck resembling a bus when filled to the brim, he geared up for the risky challenge ahead, navigating the treacherous got downturns. As the truck lumbered onto the narrow passes, the gutsy driver kept his eyes trained on the road. One wrong move could send his mighty vehicle careening over the steep cliffs. Gripping the wheel, he steadily maneuvered the bends and turns of the downhill slope. The truck's massive weight strained the axles as it tilted precariously around each sharp curve. The overloaded cargo shifted audibly with each dip and rise in the road. Still, the stoic driver pressed on, exhibiting nerves of steel. Further below, the road leveled onto thick, soupy mud. The truck powered through the sticky mud, splattering the windows. 
slipping and sliding and pushed through the clay-like earth. Having conquered the risky uphill climbs, the soaked vehicle emerged triumphantly from the mud. The hair-raising downhill ride tested the limits of machine and man, but the driver and his heavy-duty truck proved their mettle in mastering the formidable downturns. Almost toppled, the truck lumbered down the dusty Indian road, its tires bulging under the tremendous weight. Overloaded far beyond legal limits, the vehicle swayed with each dip and turn. The driver gripped the steering wheel tightly, guiding his unbalanced cargo as best he could along the hazardous route. With every bump, the towering heap of goods shifted from side to side. The truck leaned dangerously, almost tipping over completely more than once. As the truck crept along, smaller vehicles scrambled to avoid its erratic path. Cars and motorcycles darted out of the way, honking angrily at the unstable behemoth. Overloaded trucks is common practice on Indian roads, though highly dangerous. Drivers seeking extra profits routinely pack their vehicles far beyond legal weight limits. The risks are clear, but enforcement is lax. For many, the rewards outweigh the perils of toppling over or causing accidents. Still, the threat remains. Each questionable decision imperils not just the drivers, but everyone sharing the road. Caution and safety too often lose out to haste and greed. Until reforms take hold, Indian roads will continue hoisting heart-stopping scenes as overburdened trucks sway and swerve down the highway. Disasters waiting to happen. Overloaded truck on GT Road Under the cloak of night, the rumbling wheels of a behemoth truck barreled down the GT Road. Thundering under the immense weight, the truck's chassis hovered precariously close to the asphalt while its cargo swayed back and forth. This road menace was sadly no unusual sight, as the GT Road often transforms into a highway of hazard after sunset. Overloaded trucks crammed to capacity with building materials, produce, or textiles are a ubiquitous peril during these nocturnal hours. While such trucks flout regulations and jeopardize road safety, the true outrage lies with the authorities who turn a blind eye. The costs of this negligence are borne by smaller vehicles, ambulances, motorbikes, and the road itself. Roads buckle under the tremendous weight, potholes emerge, and accidents ensue. Until regulations are enforced and the culture of corruption addressed, the GT Road will continue to serve as a nightly reminder that justice travels slowly in some parts of the country. The rumbling wheels and groaning chassis of overladen trucks will go on pounding the pavement while officials pocket their share of profits. Now let's get ready for today's missing topic. This truck carried 11 times its size in one trip, breaking records in China. With a staggering 48 tires and 8 tons of hay, this mighty red truck breaks the laws of physics and manages to move more than ever before. The secret? Each of the 48 wheels is powered by its own set of auxiliary electric power, making trips that would have been impossible to push in the past now probable, if not a bit slow and top-heavy. Now it's your turn to let your voice be heard. Does it make sense to load all of that onto a truck in a single dangerous trip? or multiple safe trips. The multiple trips would cost more money, but there's safety in the cargo not tipping over. Let us know your thoughts in the comments using hashtag missing topic, Delhi Metro Rush. The crowds surged and swelled, a relentless tide of people flooding the platforms of the Delhi Metro. Any hour was rush hour in the throbbing metropolis, where the subway system ferried over 20 passengers a day across its seven lines. Trains arrived every few minutes disgorging over 1,800 people per crowded carriage before pulling away with a fresh load of commuters. At major transit hubs, the chaos reached a frenzied peak. Five trains came and went every couple of minutes, meaning 30,000 people passed through each hour. The metro was drowning in its own success, a victim of the comfort, convenience, and reliability that had made it the city's transportation lifeline. Accidents were inevitable. In the press of bodies, one young student recalled being knocked down and trampled when she hesitated before a surging horde at the New Delhi station. Her terrified cries for help went unheeded amid the stampede. By the time the tide of passengers halted, she was badly injured. The metro strained to accommodate the endless influx of riders, trains were delayed, mishaps increased, and overcrowding became the norm. The upcoming Phase 3 expansion would double capacity to 4 million daily passengers, providing some relief but would even that be enough in this ceaseless urban sprawl? For now, Metro officials added more cars to each train, 
while commuters prayed for civic courtesy and accident-free travel. The city's lifeline was overwhelmed, but somehow it preserved, still beating to the rhythms of millions on the move. Overcrowded bus. The doors of the bus wheezed open and an ocean of bodies poured out into the sidewalk. This particular bus on its route through the crowded streets of Delhi was always jam-packed with commuters, but today it seemed ready to burst. Inside, nearly a hundred sweaty bodies were crammed together, swaying and lurching with each bump and turn. There was barely room to breathe, much less move. Passengers clung desperately to straps and handles as the bus lurched forward once more. Outside on the street, an impatient crowd jostled and shoved, eager to cram themselves into the bus before it departed. Soon the bus was bursting at the seams. Passengers crammed into every last inch of space, packed together tighter than sardines. One student struggled to hold her heavy backpack high over her head so others could stand. On and on the overcrowded bus trundled, swaying precariously. It was a recipe for disaster, but no one seemed to have a choice. All aboard breathed sighs of relief when their stop finally came, finally free of the crowded chaos. Overcrowded green train. The train chugged to life at Attic Station, belching steam like a sneaky snake. It was Ayd al Ada, and people were eager to reunite with their families. The platform turned into a crazy circus as folks scrambled to get on the packed train. They squeezed into every nook and cranny, like sardines in a can. Some even dared to ride on the roof, risking their lives for a thrill. Brave souls clung to the front of the engine, praying they wouldn't become pancake people. Even the buses attached to the train were overrun with determined men, holding on for dear life. The station master could only watch in disbelief, unable to control the madness. With a screeching whistle and a puff of smoke, the train lurched forward, passengers gripping anything they could find. The once green train was now a human jungle gym, with arms, legs, and heads sticking out everywhere. The train rumbled on, gaining speed despite being way over capacity. It barreled past fields and villages, embarking on an unexpected adventure. Who knew a train commute could turn into such a wild ride? Overloaded with empty pallets, under the scorching mid-morning sun, a white truck trundled along Bermuda Street like a reluctant giant. Its enormous tires rolled over fissures in the pavement, threatening to send the towering stacks of wobbly wooden pallets flying in all directions. Those pallets were piled so high they could practically high-five the bottom of overpasses as the truck zigzagged around slower traffic. Fellow drivers wisely kept their distance from the truck, fearing the impending disaster of its teetering cargo. The weight was so immense that the poor vehicle's suspension seemed to be on the verge of surrender. With every gentle curve in the road, the stacks of pallets wobbled and swayed, contorting the truck's body like a yoga master in distress. It was like watching a circus act where the audience held its breath, waiting for the grand finale of an epic collapse. Miraculously, against all odds, the overloaded truck managed to keep its contents intact, sparing the traffic lanes and drivers from a chaotic shower of wood. But let's be honest, witnessing such a sight was enough to make anyone's heart skip a beat. Only someone driven by pure greed or blissful ignorance would attempt such a reckless escapade, putting innocent lives at stake. Overloaded Sugarcane Truck Over the scorching midday sun, a rural road became the stage for a dramatic clash between an overloaded 12-wheeler and a towering pyramid of freshly cut sugarcane. Struggling under the strain, the aging truck protested its role in this high-stakes showdown. The cargo, piled precariously above the driver's cab, resembled a chaotic jumble of sugarcane stalks ready to topple at any moment. The ropes, attempting to contain the unruly mass, strained and creaked under immense pressure. It was an impossible task, like trying to hold back a tidal wave with a toothpick. The driver, sweating profusely and filled with anxiety, glanced at the rearview mirror, aware that disaster loomed. But the foreman, driven by an insatiable quota, insisted on pushing the limits. As the truck idled, the sugarcane rebellion reached its breaking point. The ropes gave way, unleashing a torrent of sugarcane stalks that crashed down with thunderous force. The once serene road transformed into a treacherous obstacle course, littered with fallen sugarcane. The overloaded truck teetered dangerously, on the verge of losing balance, but with a bone-rattling jolt, it crashed back to the ground, narrowly avoiding catastrophe. As the dust settled, 
The driver sighed with relief and disbelief. His faithful truck had weathered the storm like a battle-scarred hero emerging from the wreckage. The close call reminded him of the importance of safety above all else. He vowed never to compromise again for the sake of meeting arbitrary targets. Overloaded Log Truck The usually nimble blue truck was weighed down by towers of timber piled high above the cab. Logs stacked in a haphazard pyramid rose up over twice the height of the truck, making it seem minuscule in comparison to its cargo. The driver took the bumps and dips of the uneven road slowly, navigating his top-heavy vessel with care to avoid catastrophe. Though the remote forest road was empty of traffic, the truck crawled along at a snail's pace. With each rotation of the tires, the logs shifted and settled, raining pine needles and flakes of bark onto the road. The driver kept a white-knuckle grip on the steering wheel, focused intently on the path ahead. One wrong move could send the precariously stacked logs tumbling down, crushing the cab underneath. As the truck approached a curve, it tilted slightly to the side with the weight of the load. The logs creaked in protest, but the driver maintained control. Once the curve was rounded, the truck rumbled on as before, overloaded but still intact. To an outsider, it seemed crazy to pack so much timber onto the aged truck, but with timber prices low and mouths to feed at home, the driver had little choice but to overload his rig and pray for an incident-free delivery. For now, the logs held fast and the lumbering truck carried on down the lonesome forest road under its burden. From field to road, as the sun peeked over the horizon, Ahmed geared up for another day of crop hauling shenanigans. As a farmer in rural Pakistan, getting his veggies to market required MacGyver-level ingenuity and skill. Ahmed hitched his tiny tractor to a makeshift trailer piled high with a teetering tower of produce that was a solid nine times the vehicle's weight. With a quick prayer to the tractor gods, he eased the little engine forward, guiding the ridiculously stacked load out of the field. The front end of the tractor lifted up like an eager puppy begging for a treat. He expertly modulated the accelerator, easing the front wheels back to the ground as the load lurched ahead. Timing and balance were everything as he coaxed the clown car esque rig down the dirt road towards town. He knew these old farm roads by heart, carefully avoiding any bumps or dips that could upset the delicate spaghetti tower of crops. Mile by mile, he crept along, focused intently on keeping the tall stack of goodies stable. Approaching the market, other drivers gave him a wide berth, Amazed and slightly concerned at the towering payload teetering precariously behind the teeny tractor. But Ahmed took pride in his skill getting his crops to market with only his tiny tractor and creative stacking abilities. In the developing world, farmers like him improvise ways to transport large cargo, relying on expertise passed through generations rather than advanced technology. His harvest today was just one more success thanks to his patience practice and persistence in mastering the impossible art of tractor-trailer Tetris. 18 People in One Sedan The dusty border between Haiti and the Dominican Republic sees all kinds of desperate attempts to cross, but none so absurd as the tiny yellow sedan bursting at the seams with people. When border agents pulled it over, the clown car routine began as 18 people piled out, one after another, like a bizarre magic trick. Contorting in ways only the flexible young can, they unfurled from the impossibly cramped spaces. Officials could only scratch their heads and wonder at the absurd scene. Clearly, the sedan was never designed to hold more than five, yet thrice that number had somehow been wedged inside. Layers of bodies were sandwiched together as tight as a packed lunchbox. The roof sagged under their weight and the tires looked ready to pop. It was a marvel the old rust bucket could even move under such a load but the illegal immigrants inside were past caring about comfort on their anxious bid for a better life across the border. Once the chaotic unloading ended, the agents tried figuring out how so many could fit inside such a tiny space. The mental image alone was enough to make one claustrophobic. Contorted limbs bent at odd angles while bodies overlapped in a twisted human puzzle. Not an inch was wasted. They leaned on each other like crowded subway passengers inhaling the same hot, stifling air. It was a sweaty, dizzying spectacle, yet still they came seeking the promise of opportunity. Abu Dhabi Crowded Bus In the heart of Abu Dhabi, 
the sun was engaged in a fiery salsa dance with the asphalt, turning the bustling bus station into a makeshift tango stage. As the bus wheezed to a halt, the crowd, eager to escape the solar shindig, sprang towards the narrow doors, transforming into a human funnel cake. The bus was a sauna on wheels, but at least it was moving. Commuters were packed in like sardines, their perfume of choice, perspiration. Each new stop added fresh fish to the tin, turning the bus into an abstract art masterpiece, if Picasso painted with people. Space was a luxury only the ants could afford. Still, at every stop, more people poured in, each one a contortionist we didn't know we needed. A tech-savvy passenger in the back was live-streaming this Bus Olympics, where synchronized swaying was the latest event. Outside, the city's skyscrapers, their heads in the clouds, snickered at the grounded, bus-bound mortals. A tiny tot whimpered, looking like she'd been dropped into an adult-sized ball pit. A grandma held onto a pole like it was her dance partner, doing the tango with each abrupt stop. It was a game of survival, a real-life episode of Middle East Bus Survivor. For miles, they sweltered, sandwiched, and swayed, all aboard the Abu Dhabi Express. Leaning sideways, the streets of Mumbai were in utter chaos, as usual. Auto rickshaws darted around like hyperactive toddlers, honking relentlessly. Bicyclists pedaled furiously, towering stacks of pots and pans threatening to top over with each pothole. And trucks, oh the trucks, groaned down the road, sagging under the weight of enough cargo to build three trucks. One truck in particular looked ready to burst. It was piled impossibly high with bulging sacks stacked in a towering V-shape. As the truck tilted back and forth, the bags swayed precariously. A passing motorcyclist zipped by without a care. Seemingly oblivious to the teetering junk heap behind him, the truck driver wrestled to keep his lopsided load from spilling across the road and crushing some unlucky sap. Somehow, against all odds, the mountain of sacks held together, defying the laws of physics as the truck chugged on down the street. The rickety truck had cheated fate by not tipping, but just barely. One pothole or bump could send the whole mess crashing down, turning some poor pedestrian into a sack sandwich. The Mumbai streets were hazardous enough without these rolling disasters waiting to bury unsuspecting citizens. Hmm.